What up folks, Alex here and welcome to 5 Minute Friday. Now when you initially installed DaVinci Resolve, providing you didn't skip the initial wizard, it will have actually asked you what keyboard shortcuts you want to use. The standard DaVinci Resolve ones, those from Final Cut or those from Premiere Pro. Now don't worry if you miss that, in this video I'm going to show you how to assign those programmed keyboard shortcuts to your DaVinci Resolve. Now if like me you've only ever used Resolve, that's not too useful. So I'm also going to show you how to set your own custom keyboard shortcuts, one of which is super useful and I use it all the time. So let's boot open DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you how. Now you can do this from any one of the tabs. What you're doing is shooting straight up to the top left hand corner where you can see the words DaVinci Resolve, give that a click and then click on keyboard customization. Now the first thing you need to know is in the top right hand corner here, where it says DaVinci Resolve, you've got a little drop down arrow. Give that a click. Now DaVinci Resolve comes with these presets. So we've got DaVinci Resolve, Apple Final Cut Pro, Avid Media Composer, and Adobe Premiere Pro. So these are DaVinci Resolve's interpretations of those programs shortcuts. So if you've come from Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro, you may be more familiar with their shortcuts. So these should help you feel a little bit more at home when using DaVinci Resolve. You can just give them a click, hit save, close the window, and that will apply that template for those keyboard shortcuts to your DaVinci Resolve. But there is a little bit more to it than that. So I'm just going to open that window back up again. Now I'm going to show you how this pane works. So at the top here, you've got these keyboards. It's like a virtual keyboard. Now anything that's black, like all of our numbers here and control and shift and return, that means there isn't a shortcut currently assigned to that key. The ones that are grey, like A, S and D here, they do have a keyboard shortcut assigned. Now the easiest way to see what's assigned is simply hold that key down on your keyboard. So we're going to hold the A key and you can see it will highlight and then it will show you in the application normal edit mode is the shortcut. If I do S, toggle, slip, slide mode. Now on the left you've also got shift, control and alt. Now you can either hold them on your keyboard, so if I hold control, that will show you all of the shortcuts which happen when you hold the control key, or you can actually click on it on the left to turn control on, alt, or all of the above. So for example, now if I hold control and then hit A, it'll show you that the control and A shortcut within the application is select all. Now if you want to actually go through the whole list, you've got this commands table here. You've got a show all drop down so you can choose the specific criteria assigned, unassigned, modified, or you can search for specific shortcuts as well. Or we can just go to all commands and scroll all the way through this list and have a look at what's available. I'm just going to show you one really useful ones which you may like to assign. So I'm going to go to application, then I'm going to go to edit, and then I'm going to find the one in this list called delete gap. Now, if you just have a quick peek at my timeline here, you can see I've got these big empty spaces between these clips. Now, I could click on each of the spaces and do a ripple delete to close everything up, or I can assign this delete gaps to a shortcut. Now, backspace and delete are your two primary keys which you'll use for deleting clips. So I want to keep using those keys, but I just want to assign something a little bit different. So I'm going to use the shift key. If I hold that down, now shift and backspace already has something assigned, but shift and delete doesn't. So that's what I'm going to use for my shortcut. So I'm going to come down to this panel here, delete gaps. I'm going to click on this empty box within the keystroke column until it turns red. And then I'm going to hold shift and then delete. And it will assign shift plus delete to that keyboard shortcut. Now you'll notice up in the top right hand corner, DaVinci Resolve now has an asterisk next to it. That's because something has changed. Now if I was to hit save, it will ask me to give it a preset name because I can't actually overwrite these default ones, but I can create a new one. So I'm going to call this DaVinci Resolve Alex, and then I'm going to click on OK. Now if I close that down, I'm just going to click within my timeline. I'm going to hold shift and then hit delete, and it will automatically delete all the gaps and just close everything up. Now I'm just going to go back into keyboard customizations again. Now if we click on the three little dots in the top right hand corner, we've got some more settings. We can save as a new preset, which is the same as amending one and hitting save. 
we can import presets, we can export presets, and we can also delete presets as well. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up, feedback down below, and don't forget to subscribe as always. Thanks for watching folks, I'll see you next time. Bye.